Hello everybody, you're very welcome to this episode of Object Oriented Programming. In this episode we're going to look at access control. So what is access control? It's how you control the access to particular classes or objects. In computer security we use the term to mean who can access a particular uh, resource, but I suppose particularly for programming we're thinking about what other objects or classes can access a particular object or class. So typically with object-oriented programming languages, as we can see, there's three ways you can classify an object, private, protected, or public. Private means that only the object itself has access to the methods and attributes within it. Protected means that this class, but also subclasses underneath it, have access to the methods and attributes within, whereas public means any other object can access the um, methods and attributes within any uh, an object that's declared as being public. And we think of that like a traffic light system. So it's like a traffic light system, red is private, amber is protected, and then green is public, everybody gets to see it. So that's the typical object-oriented approach. Python, though, being wacky, doesn't work like that at all. Python doesn't have the concept, really, of making an object or a class private or a method even. You can do it, you can make it awkward to access an object, but really Python is from an open source movement which says all code should be available to everybody. There are particular ways we look at to deter people from using it, but in general, there, if you want to access a method, you can, you can access it no matter what happens. The handiest way to prevent somebody from accessing a method is to put in the doc strings that we saw before, put a message just saying, please do not access this method, it is for internal use only, and put for internal use only in big caps, and that will prevent other programmers from using your object, or method rather. By convention within Python, if we put a prefix in front of an underscore, in front of a method or attribute, we are telling everybody that that should absolutely not be used by anyone else, except in the most dire of circumstance. Now, some books and um, websites on Python will tell you that putting an underscore in front of the method or attribute makes it private. It doesn't actually make it private, it's just it's a code to tell other developers, please don't do this. So there's nothing in the interpreter, certainly in Python 3, to stop external objects from accessing a particular method in a, or attribute within an object that has an underscore on it. But it's just a convention we use to say, please don't. That's making it awkward. If we want to make it doubly awkward, what we can do is put a double underscore. Putting a double underscore means uh, it's, it, it doesn't mean it's private, but it means it, it'll make it slightly harder. So to explain what double underscore means, and we've seen it before in the INIT, let's look at an example. So if we, have a, if we write a program that has a, a message and a secret passphrase to get that message in it, so we're going to call the message plain string and the password passphrase when we pass the passphrase in, it'll tell us what the secret message called plain string is. As we can see, we've used the doc strings to say a not so secret secure way to store a secret string. And we've declared our object, and we have our INIT class, which means we have to give a value when we declare an object of type class secret string. We have to put a, a, both a plain string in and a passphrase in. That's the initialization, we saw it last week. And then um, we have a, a method called decrypt, and what decrypt says is, if the passphrase is the correct passphrase, then return the plain string. So if you put, put in the right passphrase, return the correct message. Now as you can see there, self dot underscore underscore passphrase and underscore underscore plain string uh, means that unless I get the passphrase right. So does this make it private? Not really. Let's look, look at the running of this. If we run it and we set secret string, we set the plain string to be Acme top secret and the secret passphrase to be secret pass and then we call the method decrypt passing in the, the password secret pass then it will print out our secret message and our secret message is Acme top secret. Okay, so does that mean the only way we can get the phrase Acme Top Secret 
is by passing in the phrase secret path. Well, not really. We could try hacking like this. We could try try asking the 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 object, will you tell me what underscore underscore plain string is? It'll crash on that, it, it won't recognize that. If we try and print secret string dot plain string with no underscore underscore, it still won't do it for us. But if we print out the following, secret string underscore secret string underscore underscore plain string, then it will print out the secret pass phrase to us. So just by redeclaring Sticking in the class name in front of the attribute type, it will print it out for us. So even putting underscore underscore in front of an attribute or method doesn't make it private. There is no way to make a method or attribute private in Python at all, because you can always hack it by doing this. This is fairly ugly coding though, and nobody would, would want to do this. So it definitely it doesn't guarantee the method is private, but just makes it awkward, and it's sufficiently awkward that developers just won't want to do that. So have a play with that piece of code, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks very much.